Hey, it's your girl Bianca Bonnie from Love and Hip Hop New York. You already know I'm rocking with Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk dot com. Where Arthur Diamonds, Trip Young, and Intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. And if what message do I want to convey? Do I do I feel like me making money supersedes the you know what's going on in our communities, what's going on with our culture? Do I continue to lead them down the wrong road, or do I tell them the facts? I'm gonna tell you the facts yeah. because, and that's all I ask. I don't ask you not to talk your reality, but be factual in it. My my issue, just like with Troy App, it wasn't. He's been dope boy Troy for years. I don't say nothing. That's your music. You want to make it. But when you get, when you have a platform like this, and it's about real life, yeah. because now the entertainment part of it is gone. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, you don't say this about Rick Ross, and he was this and that. I said, well, when you watch Rick Ross do an interview, it's about uplifting the community. You might listen to his music and feel like he talks about this, but every time he has a conversation, it's about we need to buy back our community, we need to yeah. build this, and it's about putting your people in positions to survive. It ain't about you glorifying stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I didn't mean to curse. I'm sorry, but it ain't, about, it, ain't, okay. it ain't really about that. So that's what that's what I judge you by. I judge you when you when you get a platform now that it's it's past the entertainment, and you know the mic is in, you're not in the booth no more, and they sitting there and they talking to you. How you portray yourself at that point is way more important than just the lyrics that you put in your song because they look to coincide. They look to see the balance. You know, there has to be a balance. There has yeah. to be a reality-based balance. And so when your reality is is still falsehood and it's still just stupidity, then you, now you now you are leading someone astray. So have you actually spoken to Troy Ave? I, I don't really speak to Troy Ave. Um, you know, we've had a couple encounters that just just rubbed me to the point where you know I don't I'm not even interested in communicating because you just realize when you you know how you meet someone and you realize we just different type of people yeah and and that's what it, it is what it is and I've had conversations with you know me and his manager got into like a, a, a conversation on Twitter about something that happened and I was saying like maybe he should just humble himself a little this is prior to him being shot or whatever you know and because being from the streets I understand that when you put a certain energy out. It returns. Yeah. That's just the bottom line. I did seven years in prison. I don't got no cuts on my face. Nobody ain't never taken nothing from me. And I can't handle myself accordingly. Anybody would tell you that I was always a stand-up individual because of the way I carried myself. But there were dudes that came into the house and they diddy bopped through and they ice grilled you and talk about what they had in the streets and this and that. Mm -hmm. And they didn't make it two months in jail because of the way the energy you put out. So you invited this these people into that. So I understand yeah. that. So when I was having a conversation watching Troy Ave, I understand that you invite an energy that you either you don't know or you don't care. Mm. But if I'm explaining, if I tell you that maybe you have to humble yourself a little bit because it's nothing wrong with being arrogant and, and even being confident. Yeah. But when it's to the point of disrespect and it belittles, makes people feel like you belittling them, then what happens is you they have to prove to you some other way. Cause a person might not have as much money as you, but they might feel like they can beat you up or they yeah, can shoot you yeah. so that they yeah. can show you that they're better than you and you can't down talk down to them. So I understand that reality. Everybody doesn't understand that reality. And Troy being a grown 30 plus year old man, you yeah. have to understand that. I can have that conversation with an 18, 19, even a 25 year old. But when you reach 30, that means that you've made a conscious decision that this is who you are. And this is the decision you're gonna make. So at that point, I just say we're on different spectrums. And then now, when you do something and you put yourself on a platform that's global, and you and you relay a message that's totally contrary to what I believe in, yeah. then now you open yourself up for me to, you know, to combat that com that that statement that you make. So that's all it is. It ain't no physical beef. I don't wish any harm on him. Actually, I don't want harm from him. Yeah. So that's why I'm having this conversation. So maybe it could save him and he start to reflect. You gotta. You can't just think people. everybody is hating. Sometimes you got to think to yourself, what is it that I'm doing that's contributing to the negative energy that's coming my way? FansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamonds trip young and intern time for the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh. and if